Hi there, I'm August Cedarstrand from Metal Brock, and today we'll show you how to properly adjust your pushrod guide plates for our aluminum small block Chevrolet cylinder head. You see, every cast engine block is slightly different. Therefore, minor adjustments may be necessary to get the proper pushrod clearance and valve tip alignment. The first step is to rotate the crank to top dead center on the compression stroke for the cylinder you are adjusting. Now, loosen the rocker arm stud slightly until the guide plate can be moved. Then install the rocker arms onto the studs. Next, move the guide plates side to side with your fingers or tap with a screwdriver or drift to get the proper clearance between the pushrod and the guide plate. You should be within 5 thousandths minimum clearance between the pushrod and the wall of the pushrod hole in the cylinder head. Next, remove the rocker arms. Tighten the stud with a ratchet while making sure the guide plate does not move. Then torque the stud using a torque wrench to 45 foot-pounds. Now, install the rocker arms onto the studs. Verify that the rocker arm tip is centered on the top of the valve stem. Now, double check your push rod to cylinder head clearance and valve train alignment. So there you have it, that's all there is to it. If other guide plates need to be adjusted, rotate the crank to top dead center on the compression stroke for that particular cylinder. If you decide to adjust all the guide plates, simply follow the firing order for your small block Chevrolet engine so the push rods are not under valve spring pressure. If you have any further questions or need assistance with push rod guide plate adjustments, please call our tech line at 1-800-416-8628. Thanks for watching.